Wait, you what? No, I'd be electric. Try and get a little bit closer here. Moving on down. There's the myth, the man, the legend himself, Mr. Blighter, yes. All right, we're going to walk around for a little bit and then we are going to come back and check out narrative. Lauren is going to chat with us for a bit and kind of tell us everything that's going on. Minority Report, say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Acres, hi. Buddy, we got some open play going on here. And then this is Thomas's beautiful circle of a Boris board. He's doing armies on parade today. And here is his custom Riot Quest board. We are definitely going to be rolling dice on this later today. I do. It's in the, um, it's in the case. You just have to turn it on. So this table here is where we went ahead and did the legendary battle this morning, which was with the Garlgas and the walls. The wall is really sick, you guys. It's absolutely amazing. I, we are going to stream this tomorrow. Uh, so this ran this morning. So there's just, you know, six Garlgas. Um, and then we are doing a Dragonfall this afternoon. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing on the walls here. So this wall is going to take damage throughout the entire weekend. So it's going to carry over day to day. So as the wall gets damaged, uh, they they have different pieces to swap out. And eventually the walls are, um, if they take enough damage, they're going to get destroyed. So this is what day one looks like. It's really cool. So how it worked was we had 3v3 down here. So three players were on the wall three players were the attackers and then down on this end was kind of like an auxiliary uh, outside battle battles that were going on they're all 1v1s and for every uh, objective that the defenders took down so we had to take down these little obelisk guys they were armored 20 with 50 boxes and impervious flesh it was a little difficult um, we would get tokens that we would throw down on the wall to help like uh, restock the cannons, increase the range on the cannons, get them special special rounds. And then the attackers, they would cash in their tokens for more Garl gas. So that's why there's six down there. But these are these tables. Okay, all right. You guys want to check out the PP booth, see if there's any Krugers left? Um, and these are some of the amazing tables that we're sharing the space with. Uh, I'm always amazed when I go to these conventions because it's like you can really see the craft and love that you know these artists, they're artists, quite frankly, <laughs> put into, into their game. Um, and this is the room that we are in. All right, we're gonna um, go to Boothland and check out the PP booth. Yes. Tech was doing their big Kickstarter last year that was super successful. I don't know if you guys were watching that in real time, um, but that was a lot of fun to to see build over time. And there they are. I 
Thank you. over to the dealer's area. So Andy and I call this the mouse room. This is like the Star Wars games. They get their own play space. It's pretty big. Uh, we'll go this way. And if anybody's asking, yes, people are painting Krugers and Carvers to use later this, <laughs> this weekend. The other thing that's really cool about Adepticon, if uh, Andy and I, we really, really like this show. Uh, you have game systems, creators, artists from all around the world, so it's really cool to see what else is out there. And it's a really clean show too, which I really appreciate. Hi. Hey. Never mind. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So here we have Broken Egg Games. This is Adam's booth. I'm not sure if Adam is here right now. Uh, but he has the brand new proxy tokens and all the cadre stuff here. Definitely bought me a set of ghost tokens. I'm super excited to get that army box. So a bunch of new product here. They had a chuck. Um, let's see. So we'll take a look at some of the PP models. I think this is the painting competition over here for this weekend. Here are some of the entries. Beautiful job by our community. Oh, look at the Boomhauer. Got some Monpok in there. Got Boris. And some Sorsha. And then we're gonna take a look at the products. We've got some Wyverns, we've got some expansion packs, we got some core army boxes. And there he is, the myth, the man, the legend himself. There are one, two, three, four. There's six Krugers left, you guys. They uh, they've been going like hot cakes. Um and Carver. There is one Carver left. Popular piggy. Uh, take a look. I think Mike is getting John Swinkles from PP mic'd up. Is he green? Uh, is he... Yeah, we gotta be a uh, solid green. So if you wanna hold down on the power button. No, he's, no, he's green, he's green. Oh, it's green, green? Yeah. Okay, can you guys hear John? Hi, John. <laughs> it's blinking, hold on. Maybe it needs I think to it's trying to catch. If not, he can just have my mic. Sorry, we'll look back here so it's not weird. Here we go. <laughs> We're good. We're, We're good. All right. Hey, you can hear me. Hey, can I you guys hear? <laughs> awesome. Um, so, PP, looks like your booth is doing pretty well today. You don't have a lot of carvers or crewers left. Uh, yeah, they gone. They gone? Yeah. Well, I have I have one carver left. Nice, and nice, I nice. Like six. Okay. Um, anything else? Anything else? Hot sellers so far? Starters. Starters? Okay. Really? Are they like or, returning players or brand new players? There's a few of those as well. Um, a lot of people that were brand new that like their friends tried to get them in either with the last edition or with this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's just the time. Awesome. Is there any army that's like a hot seller particularly? Or is... Right now the Bright Woods are disappearing fast as down Oh wow. And that includes like pretty much everything we brought for them. So it's not just the starter and the expansion that are disappearing. It's everything. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, nice. So Tyrants on the Field asks, do you guys do anything with the VIG bags? 
So there was no VIG. Okay. It was just a regular ship, which uh, yeah, we put uh, sharpshooters and rocketeers in there because it just stops the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wanted to give people kind of like just a taste of what the game aesthetic was like. Awesome. Um, and you guys are using your new uh, resin formula now, right? For and yeah, that's been going really well. Well, I mean, that's that's also a little bit of this memory. It's always a new resin. Gotcha. Okay. So it always gets refined. Okay. So, okay. But yeah. Oh, are those the last objectives? Uh, those are the last of the pirate theme ones I have on hand. Yes. Okay. You're welcome, Ryan. All right, Ryan, Ryan, those are yours. <laughs> uh, needless to say, people can get any of the stuff either at their you know, local retailer or at the store. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool. Um, all right, I think we had a couple more questions from chat. Um, they asking, uh, are there going to be any more Carvers or Krugers coming? No, but if they're at the show and they come to me, I can sell them one for free shipping domestically. Oh, very and nice. It'll, it'll pretty much ship right now. So gotcha. Okay. I won't have them for it here at the show, so they can either just go on the web store, but if they want to come by the booth and basically just get it, get it done. Like, All right. Uh, another question. Uh, any info on the fire tongue cadre? Uh, they're yeah, they're dope. Okay. They're uh, frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they're coming pretty soon, and they're pretty soon. Like, I mean, I'm obviously biased, but mm -hmm. they're just dope. I mean, who doesn't love giant frogs spitting fire? Like, that's a big. <laughs> Yes. Gotcha. Alrighty. And what would you say your favorite cadre is for a new player? I got this idea. Annihilators. Annihilators? Oh, yeah, they're I'm pretty kinda, sweet. Kinda, there are these I'm guys kinda, right here, right? Tatiana yeah, kinda, and friends? Yes. I'm kind of stuck on uh, Winter 4 right now. Okay. Uh, I love them. I like many of the things we make, but right now they are, they are my jam. And I will hopefully have some time to paint those when I get them. Awesome. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler. Can you give any spoilers on the Chimera Gargantuan? I actually can't. I don't know anything because they're smart enough to know that if I know things, <laughs> I shout it on the internet and in person, so they don't tell me secrets. Oh, gotcha. That's fair. That's fair. Can we show these guys over here? Yeah, All right. Yeah. So we have. Oh my gosh. Who is layout? Um, that so is. The box. Those are on their way out to first bound. Right gotcha. So they have started shipping. We weren't able to get them in time for the show for here because we didn't want to step on their toes. But uh, yeah, they, they're uh, coming, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said these are some uh, examples of the models. Yeah, it's just can... basically so that people can come and like you know, take care of and see just how many different things we can get in one piece. <laughs> and they're all like single pieces except for the many, many of them except for the larger guys gotcha uh, i love but, that i hate like yeah. putting the little mans together so it's a that's and a huge mm -hmm. less, less anything else. is that the groton it's the groton i believe it's the champion oh wow yeah. very cool is that, is that the caster Oriax. that is Oriax. very cool it might come across a little muddy in the photo yeah. I think, I believe they're also in the case. Oh, yes, oh, that's pretty. Yeah. They were, um, I was, all right, let's take a look, see some paint, I guess. So here are the beautiful painted models. Gotta get that deuce in there. That hell is. Some Shadow Tongue, some Rage Monger. Uh, I think so, unless there's anything you want to talk about. Does anybody else have any questions for John before we uh, before we leave the booth? Very good. I'm just going to ask you if anyone else has any questions. No? <laughs> yeah? I didn't want to make the microphone disappear. No, no, no. You're good. This is our first time doing this, so we're learning together, everybody. Appreciate everyone's patience. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, all right. So if nobody has any questions, I think we are going to head back to the game room and see what's happening with Mr. Blighter Gas. Uh, John, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today.
Uh, I got it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I have looked at similar little Bluetooth wobblers a few times. These are great. This was like 20 bucks. Was it? Yeah. And it's got like a lot of the ones I've looked at are like 70 for a two pack. Oh yeah, no, we're not doing that. But yeah, this is great. Amazon, 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, cool. Did Andy buy these? Uh, I don't know. All right, we're gonna slide these over here. And did you buy this? That's so. That's why. And that's Chuck. Infernal Chuck. Chuck, did you want to talk to anybody? Oh, I lied. That is just staff. He's just, just staff. staff. Former judge. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Let me. Uh, we are talking to um, the internet, the chat. So we are live right now on Tried and True, and we're just kind of hello, chat, going around, hello, answering questions in real time. So this is Chuck. Chuck, go ahead and talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure. Uh, what do you do? I'm a little bit of everything. I help run our Kickstarters and project management. I do some of the painting insiders you'll see up on the website. Um, I'm really good at dropping trolls and breaking them. <laughs> we all heard the story. Yeah. We all cried a little bit. Uh, yeah. No. Right now, I'm pretty busy back at the office, doing a lot of painting and some cool stuff, and then getting inside is ready. And then we're probably. Uh, I don't want to give an exact date. We're getting real close to the next uh, IK RPG Kickstarter with the Strange Light Workshop. Uh, it is. Personally, my favorite content that's going to be out there in the Iron Kingdom as well. I love the art, Me too. by yeah. the way. The art oh, is no. like absolutely gorgeous. It is basically the Ghostbusters of the Iron Kingdoms. I cannot wait for everybody to kind of like <laughs> see it and get their hands on it. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Um, is there anything you're super looking forward to with the with the show this this weekend? Yes. Narrative. I well, there's a lot of stuff actually. Uh, I got my hands on the Kruger model. I can't wait to go home paint one. He's in here, right? Yeah. Can, can you take him out? Can we look at him real quick? Gasmol C. Kruger. The paint job on this thing is like, it's sick. I got little. Got Big Pig. I was just waiting for that thing to like do its thing. Like, yeah, no, I was too. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> no. Not today, not now. <laughs> Beautifully painted model. Yeah, and who painted him again? This was done by Josh. Just. The just. fire effects are really good. Right? It's so vibrant. So Andy and I were coming down the escalator and there's definitely people in the painting section like painting this model right, right now. now. Yeah, yeah, like right, right now, now for this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're getting painted up. But absolutely gorgeous model. Yeah, I can't wait to Thank get you. home, put mine together and get some paint on it and put an insider up here in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, we've got Cursebound coming. We brought some of the alpha prototypes. Yep, yep. Even showing that off on screen. For sure. That's been pretty cool. Uh, I need to get a hold of a carver at some point and paint yeah, one big up. Big pig. There's only one left over there. I know. Saw. I'm so sad. Who will be the last one? <laughs> We're hurry up, get to the booth now, everybody. Who will get to Going feel high. the squeal? <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for Absolutely, taking the time yes. to talk with us. Hey, hope you have a great weekend. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, we are going to head back to the game room. We'll see what's going on. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'm shutting this down. Mm. Are we all doing uh, poses at one point? I think so. I think it's full tonight. We're going to try We're gonna try and uh, do sign-ups for Friday night. or What's today, Thursday? Today is Thursday, yes. It's just my room. Let me know. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, we're down. Um, also, I have a beautiful stuff. And we were okay, in the car cool. this time. It's so much more helpful. Yeah. We were Ubering well, everywhere last time. It didn't feel like we were in a car. Where did we go? Like, we had like a great night where we had the, the 90s grunge bar, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it was called. But I yeah. don't either, and I can't find it on the map. It was more. It might have been right next to the road, right? <laughs> yeah, it was close. I feel like we walked it there. It was walking distance. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to hear those models. I, I know. And I know you can do it. You All right. What time, what time are you off tomorrow? Uh, I think we're done at six technically, and I would just be around gaming all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. This sounds good. Tomorrow night. Okay. You still on the screen? Yep, yep. Oh, we're okay. gonna walk back to the other. All right, all right. We're going, guys. We're going. Turbo to work. Pardon me, I'm sorry. Beautiful. Hi. Oh, the terrain here is so 
awesome. Um, I love these boats. Every time Andy and I walk by these darling little boats, I have to stop and look at them. Also, there were like three or four. Oh, there's this really cool table that goes down, and we saw it at Nova a couple years ago for the first time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, do your thing in here. Okay. Um, we can walk. If you guys want to see more of the dealer's room, we can walk around and see more of these beautiful shops. Let me see if I can find this really cool table. Yes, yes. Make the sing song. That's a move. Some models, big boys. So there are no tournaments going on today. It's all narrative. So IG is tomorrow. Oh, here's the cool table. Um, IG is tomorrow, and the ATC is on Saturday. Um, so it's all narrative. These tables are gorgeous. And this is one of my favorites because it goes like down to the ground. It's so cool. And they have like full on dioramas. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so we're actually going to shoot over to 40K land. Decided and take a look at their gaming area. It is huge. Yes. That's the bags. I don't know if it's necessarily the largest. I went to, I've only been to a few shows, so I'm not like a subject matter expert on it. Uh, the hall, the vendor hall at PAX Unplugged is huge, and that's in Philadelphia. That's probably the biggest, the biggest hall I've been to. I've also heard Gen Con's insane. All right, head over to the Forbidden Land, Warhammer. <laughs> I actually haven't been over here. This reminds me of like when you go to a pet store and they've got the uh, like the snakes and the lizards and stuff. Instead of animals, it's miniatures. So Andy and I were talking about Gen Con, and I don't know if you guys have seen pictures of Gen Con, but I just get anxiety looking at every photo I've ever seen. It's just, it's shoulder to shoulder people. Um, it's very expensive. And not only are you paying for a weekend badge, but I mean, you see it with all the all the big cons right now, right? So you're paying for a weekend badge, you're paying for your travel there, you're paying for a hotel, and then on top of that, you have to pay for events individually. Not to plug Nova, but I will. Our events run from 10 to 20, I think. I think 20 max. And King of Coin will be 25. What are you going to be looking at? I don't know what the crush is. So this is Warhammer Land. Alright. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, Dorbs. 
Mac two or no? Yeah, Mac one or Robin. Let's get out of here. It's back to the Iron Kingdoms. This hall's pretty incredible. Um, like the banners, the lighting, and everything. It's it has this epic feel to it. But that's okay. Our room's special too, you guys. by the narrative tables and go talk to Lauren. Oh, what's this? Chat, what game is this? It's cool. Mompa no, not Mompa. All right. I love this vendor. I see them at a lot of shows, and they're great for if you're looking for bits. They just have everything in random little, uh, little totes and boxes. chunky by the way they've got some good weight to them um they're really cool you see the detailing on them got some spark hammer boys lightning lightning guys and then these were the cannons that we shot out of earlier We have a mirror match going on here. For a circle. Okay. And this is what a broken wall looks like, you guys. This is what I have happened this weekend. Is she ready? Oh, Doug. Doug. Yeah, Doug. Yeah, chat wants to talk to Doug. <laughs> Talk about this beautiful garl gas you sculpted. Are you live right now? Yeah. Hey, don't be talking crazy on here, man. I want to get a, I want to get a strike on the channel, right? Can you guys hear Andy's mic? I think there's a delay. Sweet. Should be solid green, right? Yeah, we're good. Sweet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the Douglas hour. How are how are we doing? Day officially one, right, yeah, of Adepticon? Official, which means I'm doing great because <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm not too tired yet. Yeah. So we're going good. Lots of people here. Very mm -hmm. exciting. Uh, lots of lots of visitors to the booth this morning. Right now I'm hanging out in the events hall, watching some Dragon Fall take place. And uh, yeah. So you. I have to ask the uh, the Garl gas sculpt. How um, I mean, like, how do you even start a model like that? Like, what? Always with a circle. Yeah. True. <laughs> it, it's nothing overly complex. It's, it's literally kind of two shapes. <laughs> um, what I like to say about this with, with the Garl gas is, I feel like a Orgoth warlord this weekend. I've got Dragonfall. Um, that I worked on some of the the terrain for it. Mm -hmm. uh, the soul pyramid you probably see in the middle of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the little uh, 
objective with the faces on it. Uh, the Lash is here, finally. It uh, made it work our weekend. And then the Garl Gas right here. So I, I feel like a Orgoff Warlord. I'm like, I've sent my <laughs> relics. I've sent my beasts. I've sent my dragon. Um, and now it's just a matter of seeing if we're victorious uh, this weekend. What's your favorite thing you've sculpted for Mark IV? Uh, the Garl Gas probably right now. Uh, or maybe Hades, the new Crix Jack. Crix Jack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Uh, how about anything, uh, so this is, what, year two for Mark IV for, like, Adepticon, right? Second? Yes, technically year two. Okay. Um, Mark IV came out January of last year, officially. Okay, so, yeah, like, right in any, um, any, like, lessons learned or anything from last year that you guys were able to apply this year for narrative, it's or? It's a matter of building. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year was the first big narrative event for us, and, uh, the success has kind of pushed us to do more and more narrative stuff and make it more interesting. They're so much fun. They're a lot of fun. That's the thing that I tell people. I'm like, it's great seeing all these people out here. It's kind of a competitive game. <laughs> like looking at all the people doing the narrative event, I don't even think they care who wins. They're just having a good time. Yeah. You know, they're they're giving each other a hard time about things. They're throwing dice. And they're, yeah. they're enjoying Lauren running the scenarios. And one of the things, I just love seeing how everybody gets to hang out and do that. Yeah, that wall looks a little banged up from the first day. Hopefully. <laughs> when you have all those girl guys going out. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the condition? It's six that I, get through? I or We're going to have to talk to that. Lauren about that. Okay, okay. In my little what if world, I just tore the wall down for a bunch of girl guys on it and said that they won. But officially, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out yet. Gotcha. Uh, so not not to get into like spoilers, right? Uh -oh. we're, we're respectful, we're respectful. Of course you are. Always are. So blink twice if the Chimera Gargantuan flies, or just look dead in the camera if you don't know. I'm just gonna stare out the space. Did you see the <laughs> Did you see the picture of the uh, the concept art of the 80 millimeter Crix model? I did. We just saw it at lunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we, I didn't know it was going up. I'm just like, what is this? Yeah. 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 I uh, I had to I had to post like a void engine like uh, I, I I posted a little response to your guys' post. Yeah. No, it's, it it looks cool. It looks really cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff coming. I have not seen a Chimera uh, Colossal mm -hmm. yet. So. so, with the uh, with the release schedule, when when would you say or speculate when we should expect to see the first Crix box drop? I, I think we're still shooting for May. Okay. Uh, for one of the boxes. I, I don't really know because I have so much crits to work on right now mm -hmm. that I'm not sure of the schedule. I just know Matt keeps telling me that uh, work, work, work. Uh, okay. It's, he's actually, actually, I'm just kind of kidding about Matt saying that. When I sent over this Hades Warjack, character Warjack to him, uh, you can tell he was kind of like a excited kid because he's like it looks so great I love yeah it. so do you do like a prototype sculpt before or is it like here's the art run with it I send the it art, i um i sculpt it to a certain point i send it over to make sure we're going the right direction mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll kind of go back and forth a couple of times iron out the detail and the pose and at some point um they it looks good send it over okay and is, are you just working on Crix right now, or do you have a couple armies here? Right now, I'm just thing? working on Crix. I have uh, Hades, Grendel, the, the other character Jack. Uh, I hope we said Grendel, whatever. Uh, the, the heavy chassis with, I think it's four arms on each side, four heads. Uh, the Bone Jacks, there's a couple different versions of that. Okay. And also the. The A and the B pose of the Jacks. So we'll have all of that coming out at some point this year. But that's oh, and also uh, one, of the, one of the casters. I don't remember what his name is. It's the one that kind of looks like a like it's part Jack. It's the guy that's putting other guys back together again. I, I don't even know what one it is. It's like hunched over with a cloak over it. Yeah, yeah, he looks cool. I uh, yeah, I dig that guy. He's... Yeah, so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, as I was thinking about it, I'm like I've been with the company over 11 years, but the only Jacks I've ever sculpted are Dusk and uh, Retribution. Nice. So to get to work on some tricks, Jacks, it's pretty exciting because that was my first army. Okay. A uh, long time ago. So, it. so MKY asks, how is sculpting modular models different than regular ones? Uh, it's a little bit of a pain. you got to make sure all the parts are going to work right. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that uh, one smaller weapon looks great, but then you got a bigger one that, that clips, clips the, hip, the hip when you move it around or 
Um, it's, it's not terrible, though. Gotcha. Okay, very it's cool. Not bad. And very somebody cool. else does the engineering, so I really like that. <laughs> I see you're rocking your Curse Bound t shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've seen a couple of the shirts on the tables. I this got weekend both of so my um, Orgoth shirts. I, I was waiting. In fact, I left late Tuesday to come up here. And I finally gave up on the shirt showing up because I'm pulling out of my neighborhood. I see the male Jeep come in from the other way. So I, I swung around and caught up and I was like, hey, nice. I need my work shirts. <laughs> very cool, very yeah, cool. So I'm rocking the, the Orgoth shirts. And they're actually, they're actually really nice. Yeah, they're good yeah, material. The, the material's good. It covers my belly. I'm happy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other questions for Douglas? Anybody else? Before we move back to the tables. The tables are way better looking than I am, so <laughs> oh. I would say check those out. <laughs> All right. Let's go look at Mr. Blightergast. Andy, can you grab the... Yep. Thank you, Doug. So here's Blightergast. Hello. Sorry, I don't mean to... No, 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 you're good. Sorry. And we got, we got Circle and some OG catering. You have a new army, I've been using it. Is it harder to fight, like, closer to the dragon's face and his claws? Is it any different? Than... I like getting close to it. Can you damage it? Like, can you attack it? No. But it can damage me, probably. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I think Ghost is April. I'm not 100% sure. But I love you. Do you get it? It's only like an hour flight. Oh, okay. Hour hour. Awesome. Oh, cool. Ryan here. Other, Ryan, everybody else here. Ryan, everybody else here. Ryan, everybody else here. Most of us are over in the pain here. We're speed painting big pigs. Ah, uh, okay, okay. We, I think we saw you guys on the escalator down. Now, right after paying crew, right? <laughs> Do you want to say hi, Rick? Hey, All right. Question. Um, goes festival April. Tentatively, go survive. Oh, go survive. He got sculpts, you guys. I have a box called uh, Mutual Things, <laughs> and it's all kinds of stuff that nobody's seen. Oh, I want to see it. <laughs> all right, we might we might we might see some models later. Um, I'm, I'm thinking April. Uh, I will confirm a, a harder date for for you guys. Hi, Travis. Um, I remember to use my feet this time. Oh, you feet it? That's yeah. what's up. Are you an attacker or a defender this time? Uh, I am a defender this time. Okay. Uh, using my card to get this guy a corpse. Very much in keeping with Circle Obros to switch sides in the middle <laughs> of the floor. Got Terrence. Say hi, Minority Report. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I can spend it to uh, take one damage from the attack, you know, whatever you want. Victus? So if you roll 20 damage, I spend it to take one attack. Just one? Just one. No matter what you roll. You roll two? It's been one and take one damage instead. Probably not going to. Lady guest. Alright, we'll see if Lauren's ready to talk to us. Better explain in detail what, what the heck is going on on these tables. And then we just got some open play hanging out down this way. Alright, let's see what Lauren's up to. Here's my deusk. Chris, David, thank you so much. Chris did an amazing job painting my army. It's been an absolute pleasure playing them. Here's Andy's army. Uh, Paul painted them. It's all Marauders. Don't, don't get up. It's all Marauders. I think that's Huxley? I 
I call these the satellite repairmen. I never can remember what their name is. They get the flying butthole treatment. Um, and then here's some. All right. Oh. Lauren, did you wanna do you wanna check? Okay. Andy, can you mic up Lauren? Alright, we're gonna get Lauren. I can't take the ramen box on the plane, you guys. That is that is an East Coast exclusive limited edition army box. I don't know if you guys have flown with miniatures on a plane before. I will say the new Mark IV stuff is great. Uh, Mike, check your green. Uh, it definitely makes flying with the bags much lighter. So I appreciated that this year compared to last. All right, so we're going to talk to Lauren. I'm going to get a chair too. East Coast, yes, East Coast exclusive, exactly. All right, so here we are with Lauren from PP. Lauren, do you mind just introducing yourself and letting us know who you are? What's going on today? Yeah, uh, my name's Lauren. I'm the uh, head of organized play and playtest for Preventure Press. Uh, I'm here running the events uh, at uh, our Preventure Press area. Uh, we've got the Battle of Scars Wall, uh, which is a uh, large fortified wall in the Orb region that is being attacked by the Orgoth and their giant uh, gargantuans. Uh, and we have the uh, Dragonfall event, which we uh, did at Warfare Weekend. We're doing here again. We're taking on tours. So we fight the dragon. How heavy is the dragon? What's that? How heavy is Blighter Gas? Oh, uh, in the box or out of the box? Uh, like all together when he's when he's all oh, formed uh, up. About 50 pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's 50 pounds of resin and paint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about the narrative, like where we're at in the story, what, um, how it works over day to day, and, and how this thing progresses? With uh, Scars Wall, or yeah, yeah, we'll do Scars Wall first, then we'll come back to Blair. So, yes. so far in the Iron Kingdoms, uh, it's been about a year that the Orgoth have invaded now, uh, and they've tried a new beachhead in the Ord, uh, knowing that they have a large cache of relics there. They're hoping that they can uh, push through through Scars Wall into Ord. Uh, get a bunch of slaves while also grabbing a whole bunch of their old artifacts that they left behind. It was nice. So the um, the garl gas were fun. Uh, you guys, Lauren kept taking garl gas out of the box. So we came to the tables this morning. There was three. I looked down from where I was at. I think there was five at one point. <laughs> um, so someone in chat is asking who won round one today. So. Uh, it is a aggregate over the whole weekend, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, the damage is persistent, so every time they play, they do damage to the wall, and once that wall falls, it's down for the rest of the weekend. And every time a Garl Gas gets through, that's another score for the invaders. And is there a cap of Garl, like X number of Garl Gas get through? Uh, I brought, uh, yeah, six. Six get six. through, <laughs> then they've won. Gotcha, okay. Very cool. Uh, I have a contingency in case they win early about something the defenders can try and win back if those six get through before the last day. So we did narrative with you guys last year where it was the with the train and the big 5v5. Uh, what like challenges or differences is it when you scale it down to like 1v1? Like what was what was the driver for that? Well, uh, the big driver for that is we had Matt, we, we did that little mini test. The first thing the, play, the uh, test players did was send all the ball guests at one wall, uh, and that was too much, <laughs> too much for any player at any point level to deal with. So we decided they had to be corralled into one v one. Okay. At, at least until one player fell, and then it becomes a people. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was the kind of impetus behind that. Um, and so we were talking a little bit earlier. So you had like the conflict at the wall happening on one end. What was going on on the outskirts with the other 1v1s we had? So uh, the uh, Orgoth forces, a small skirmish force, managed to get behind the lines. They were trying to use some of the ar uh, artifacts to power the Carl gas because they run out of soul energy. Uh, so they're trying to gather as much of that as possible so, so they can send uh, as many Garl Gas in as possible. So what was the conversion? Like how many coins for a new Garl Gas? Uh, so it depends on the round. Round one it's eight. Uh, oh. eight, four, eight. Uh, 
have, if you have no girl gas, it's half cost. And it goes down <laughs> based on the rounds. And if you already have two, it's double. So oh, okay. Was um I, I couldn't tell where I was at. Where the was the wall able to like to bring down any girl gas? Like did any of them actually oh, die? Uh, three girl gas died in the event. They just okay. brought in that many. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, auxiliary tables were feeding them enough souls that they could just bring in. Souls. Got it. Uh, and then the terrain piece that you guys have in the center, so like the auxiliary tables out here, uh, that was the first time that we saw them was here at Adepticon. Can you talk a little bit about that terrain feature? Is that something that's going to carry over to yeah. the the game outside of narrative? So uh, we had a lot of feedback on the car towers and the bunkers about what people wanted to play. Uh, and so we decided that uh, it's going to be more of like a normal train piece. It's a hill, uh, but it's also going to have some a little extra spice. So this one, if you're in contact with it, you get souls every okay. round, uh, as well as some uh, magic events. I think. I don't know if that makes. Yeah, it. it's like the uh, the obelisk looking guys, right? Oh the little, yeah, the get, obelisk do the magic events. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they get extra range of their spells. That's what it is. Okay. When they're on the soul here. So are both of those train pieces porting over to War Machine, like, the game as a whole, or...? Yeah, so the Ancient Monoliths are now a defense. Okay. Uh, with different, slightly different roles that we're using in the event here. And the uh, Soul Care is already in the train section in the app, so you can find that there already. Gotcha, okay. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get some more camera that will show, we'll show chat kind of what we're, what we're talking about with that. Uh, yeah, I like the coin thing. I don't think you guys had that last year when we were here. That was fun. So as we were doing stuff, we were tossing uh, coins to buy Garl Gas or uh, cannon. Uh, uh, we started at Gen Con last year. We, oh, okay. Yeah, because we were doing a treasure-based event, and we liked how much the currency passing around worked, and we were trying to incorporate it into more events. So your big narratives are at Adepticon, Gen Con, and Warfare Weekend. When, when you guys are planning this, do you write it like like your three parts complete, ready to go, or do you just kind of So we have a basic idea of what the story's going to look like, uh -huh. uh, and we keep it loose enough because total upset in yeah. the battles, we have to be able to pivot, right. oh, the Orgoth are here now, um, oh, Lighter Gas got enslaved rather than, you know, Lighter yeah. Gas got saved. Right, right, right. So. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and then this is running every day, including Sunday, or just Saturday? Saturday. Um, Scars Wall is running every day. Okay. Dragon Ball is running every day but Sunday. Okay. Yeah, I put wider gas to bed. <laughs> yeah. You get sleepy really early. Yeah. So yeah, go <laughs> uh, well, any 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 other little news or tidbits? Oh man. Little secret secret sauces. Keep an eye out because I think the Girl Gas pre orders are going to come up soon. Okay. Uh, I imagine that if you don't pre order, it might be a little hard to get. Okay. Uh, they are quite time consuming to produce. So the more, more notice we have that you're ready to buy them, the more we can produce ahead of time. So. And the Girl Gas that's in the app right now that we use for narrative is can you confirm or. Yeah, can you confirm? Is that. Uh, are any of those configurations like what the final model is going to be? So that is one of the configurations you can have and it matches what we have in playtest right now. We reserve the right to change it if playtest says this isn't working. Of course, of course. Uh, but watching it on the table, it looks to be working. And that's a 25-point kit that came out? Uh, I think that's 34. 34. Oh, okay. He's expensive. Yeah. It's 72 boxes, 73 boxes, something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's the full two grits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of meat. A lot of meat. All right. But it is a monstrosity, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. I um, I didn't have a lot of experience playing into like Cephalix before uh, Pete, so I'm looking at the uh, the grid. I'm like, what does B stand for? Like B's for brain. I'm like, oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> so all right, cool. All right, does anybody have any other questions for Lauren before we move back to the tables? Happy to answer you guys' questions. Yeah, thanks for um, taking the time to to yeah. chat and share all the wonderfulness that's happening today. Hopefully they can hear me okay. Because my voice is going. Yeah, no, these mics are pretty good. Twenty dollar mics from Amazon. Like, shout out, free plug. That's not bad. <laughs> All right. It says keep up the awesome work. And thank you so much. So everything looks incredible. Thank you so much, Lauren. Appreciate it. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um,
Yeah, lots of water, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to go look at the little narrative stuff that's coming to the game that Lauren was talking about. So these Jimmy Johns right here, they're going to be a new defense that you can take into your force. Um, it's like a mini windstorm for magic attack, so minus three range, and you get like plus one armor. It's very good for magic tech within five inches. I have to double check. I only saw the rules on this for like a split second. And then this was the other terrain feature that we played with today. Um, it was treated like a hill, so you could climb on top of it and to score it you had to have any two models within two of it and these things are pretty beefy uh they were armor 20 with impervious flesh and 15 boxes and because they're not a model you can't you can't charge it you can't debuff it you can't armor pierce it uh it was rough you guys it took me like four turns to kill one of these um all right so this is pretty much uh day one uh, Andy and I are going to get some open play later today. I think we got some King of Coin going down. Um, Andy has been challenged twice now for his Orgoth coin. Uh, again, King of Coin will take place at Nova Open later this year. If you have a coin by August 1st, it buys your ticket into, buys your access for the ticket uh, for the final. Uh, I think we're going to get ready to close this down. Oh, and we are also filming uh, with Warhammer Girl later today. Uh, we, Andy and I are going to be on a battle report. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of a lover's quarrel. Um, help me. I The Brian Bloods is rough, you guys. Andy's Brian Bloods are a... Uh, it's a rough time. <laughs> Any last minute questions before we skiddy out for the day? Thanks to everybody who took the time to hang out with us. Uh, Adepticon's a really great show. Uh, Andy and I, it is a highlight show for us every year. Uh, we've only gone twice, but it's, it's, it's been a great time uh, both, both years. Uh, and thanks to your patience while we were getting everything set up. We will be streaming again tomorrow. Uh, we will be streaming the Scars Wall in the morning. Uh, and I think we're playing some Riot Quests. Well. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining, everybody. Do one more later guest. And on fire. Burning God! Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's getting all this beautiful carnage. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't matter. We'll be seeing lighter gas tomorrow. Alright everybody. Have a great day. We will uh, we will be back tomorrow. Thanks again for sharing your time. All right, we'll see ya. Bye.